Hello guys, how are you today? We're here on the farm again, trying to clean up. I've been missing a lot of things in here lately. Just making some cash. I have been helping some others on their farms this morning and that was felt kind of nice. That was a good thing. So now I have a little bonus too. I have a wee bonus. So tomorrow is, is New Year's Eve. Do you feel older, wiser? I don't. <laughs> I keep waiting. I keep waiting for that to happen. It's like, yeah, you know, we'll get to it one year. It'll be fine. Oh, right now, okay, so I'm looking up here. I'm close to getting close to seven billion again. With the bonus, these these are what at level ninety-two and we're getting hundred and five. That's not bad. They'll be better. They will be better. I've got to start remembering to try to get that bonus again because you know we're gonna need the gold. We know this. One must have all the gold. But there'll be lots and lots of this to do today. I've got a bunch of flowers ready to harvest. The last while in the game, and I, I want to apologize for that because it certainly wasn't done on purpose. Um, I haven't been leaving the game on at night, but what's been happening, and it's happened three times in a row, and I don't understand why, but I came in the game and I would do some things and after, you know, a half hour, an hour or something with the game on, a thing would pop up saying that we're unable to save. And everything I had done was gone. It just it just reset back to before I had logged in. And uh, that happened three nights in a row. And I was playing around with it and I don't know why. It hasn't happened today, which I'm thrilled to announce but it's been uh it's been a thing and i don't i don't know why i've never had that happen before this is what three years now i've been playing the game and i have not had that happen one single solitary time but i had it happen three times in a row i don't know if there's some internet issue if there's something going on with the internet here at the house it doesn't seem to be <coughs> i'm playing other games on various servers um and not having not having a problem but i i have in this one and i don't know why Maybe, you know what, maybe there's just been a lot of people playing because of the holiday. Um, people are home, they're, you know, younger people are not at school, people have time off work. Although I've never met a school child in here, so I, I never seem to account that as, you know, traffic problems or too many people around or something. I, there must be children that play, I've just not met one of them. I, I don't know. I've only run into adults playing this game, but... But it's been kind of strange. So I, you know, there there haven't been, I haven't been leaving the game roaming because things are just not functioning. And I thought, you know, I, I don't know how that would work for you guys if you came and did something on the farm and then the farm resets. Do you, or nothing gets saved. Do you still get your experience? Do you still get the event items? You know, things like that. I, I had no idea. And it, it just seems like, well, the game's not running right. So I closed it. And I'd start it up again and find out that everything I had just spent 30 minutes doing was gone. It just hadn't happened. And I would I did it over again and I'd check, you know, that thing would pop up again and it didn't matter, you know, whenever I left the game, it just nothing saved, nothing set. So I I kind of went, well, the heck with that and just went to bed and left it offline. But I don't know why. It's just been a thing. But that's why the last couple of nights of the event, the last few nights of the event, I, the, the farm wasn't on. And before that, I had gotten really ill with the jab, the, the booster jab for COVID. And I, I just wasn't in the game. I spent a couple of days in bed, so I, the, the game wasn't even on. So I know there's a number of people who are used to coming here on a regular basis, and Twisty Maze and Lucy and Sana and, and a bunch of you that, you know, I see those same names over and over every day, and I do apologize for having dumped you, you know, if you were looking for a nice straight row of something to grab a wee bonus before you go back to your own farm and then I wasn't here to do that or, or if you were looking for those last minute event items I hope you managed to find them without counting on me to help in any way because I didn't the last while and I'm, I'm sorry for that but here we are a lovely summer day on the farm with many flowers blossoming prettily tis a good thing 
I like it. Oh my goodness. So I do have a house yet to furnish. You know what? I just gotta check. I gotta check on my animals and things like that. I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. I haven't been selling down very much and things are getting stored. I'll be honest, I've kind of reached a point with the actual storage of stuff. You know, if some of these were full all the time and I just ignored it, I don't think I'd care. But I'm afraid that people will come in and feel like, oh, I shouldn't be harvesting here because everything's full and I'll be wasting her chance to get diamonds and that they won't. You know, they'll come over feeling like they were hoping to get something done and now they're being kind and feeling like they shouldn't. So I will continue to sell things down even though I just, just don't even care. But, oh well. So the, my farming simulator 22 server seems to be functioning. The people have been working on it for the last couple of days. I've not been one of them, but um, I know there are people in there playing because uh, Rhino, who's a guest here for the holidays, I know he's been playing a lot. I've been busy elsewhere, but every once in a while I walk through the room and he's on his laptop working on the farm. <laughs> Looks like they're having a lot of fun. It's kind of, it looks pretty. I'll get to it. I will get to it for sure. And he had talked about doing um, the the YouTube series. You know, occasionally I think I'll do it in there, and then occasionally he will be in it. There may be other people. There may be guests sometimes and things like that. Make it a little more interesting than me just trying to learn how to drive another piece of equipment that I really don't understand just yet. <laughs> Of course, I just want to get horses. I just want to go ride horses. It sounds like fun to me. And make enough money to start beautifying the area. It's going to be a long haul to get the farm um, sorted out. And Rhino and I are sharing a slot. The, the game only allows eight slots. So a few people have teamed up. There is one section of the farm we put away as a communal thing. So if we have people who aren't playing a lot, or like to work with others all the time. You know, it's just a communal farm where anybody can go in and go do things on it. And then a few people have teamed up to try to save those slots. And and um, the, the sections that everybody's been allotted are quite, they're big. They're certainly big enough. I'm going to have one section and Rhino's gonna have another section. So effectively, we're gonna have two farms anyway. So that's, you know, he he knows I want the northern section and he's taking the southern and we'll just stay out of each other's way. So it'll be fine. Or, you know, we can have somebody to help each other out when we want to. So it's kind of the best of both worlds. We've done enough things in games together over the years to know that we can not step on each other's toes. So that's good. Oh, look at this. I've gone past 7 billion which means I can go and put one more level up on each of those stations and be down to six again. Oh, it's so exciting. I'm on a hamster wheel. Harvest spend, harvest spend. This is my life. This is a little too much like real life. You get up and you go to work every day and then you just spend it and it's like, well, that was fun. Uh-huh. There you go, gone. Oh, and spending, my dog is sick. Because, you know, when you've got company and you've had holidays and there's, you know, you've, you've not bought clothes in two years and you just finally reached a point where you have no choice but to cave and spend, you know, on everything from shoes to socks to pants to shirts to tops to something to sleep in to sweaters, like everything. I just need everything. And sheets just worn out, like literally just got so thin they finally weren't sheets anymore. <laughs> <coughs> Life has been really expensive the last while. Even with having a very, very, very low-key holiday. But uh, my dog is now ill again. Because that's what I wanted to have to deal with this week. And of course, everything's closed. Getting uh, to not to get an appointment for is going to take weeks, which may not, I, I don't think we, we can, I don't think we can go let it go that long, but, um, or be emergency treatment, which, you know, doubles and triples the price of everything immediately just to walk in the door. And uh, she has some 
kind of urinary or something. I don't know if there's a blockage. I'm not sure what's going on. I do have her on some, I'm going to call them natural supplement things that I know work very, very well with dogs because I have used them with great success in the past and in the hope that it's just, you know, sort of a, a basic urinary tract infection. I mean, she's still going to have to see a vet because I will want testing done to make sure that whatever I'm treatment that I'm giving is actually finished the problem and it just doesn't slowly creep back, right? She will need she will need tests. But what I'm afraid of if there's some sort of you know bladder stone, kidney stone, you know, something like that that's causing blood, which is the the, the big symptom at the moment. It's a little scary. My dog is sick. She's getting older. She was a rescue dog, if you guys don't know. So she had a really tough start in life. Uh, the first 10 months of her life, she literally barely survived it. She was severely abused, extremely malnourished. It took three months of medical treatment to save her life. That's how bad she was. And... I mean that damage that damages uh, you know that damages things permanently moving forward and she's always had very she's had issues she's had two or three surgeries now um, for the same sort of issues over and over and and she's she's getting she's an older dog so I mean she's not old she's 10 11 now 11 but she's a large dog, you know, a large breed dog, husky, shepherd, and stuff. But, um, you know, they sometimes, you know, 12 or 14 in, in that breed range can be considered quite an elderly dog. And a lot of them don't make it that long. I mean, some do, you know, some get up to 16, but that's not as usual for these breeds, so... She's and she, like I said, she had a pretty bad start. So my poor Bella, my poor Bella. So I'm looking at trying to track down a veterinarian. Or wait, I mean, they're weeks. Everybody is just saying weeks. So, I mean, we do have a vet. It's it's a ways from here. It's out of town. It's not in town. So, and they're they're booking like literally months ahead right now. I, we have you know, staff out with COVID and Omicron and just, you know, things. Oh, goodness. The whole world is ill. Okay, so these horses are being fed and not ready. These guys are being taken care of. That's good. I've done a bunch of things there. That's good. I wonder if there's anything else I should be harvesting in here that's sort of high-end to take advantage of this bonus while I have it. I mean, that's not high-end, but, you know, 4,000, almost 5,000. That's not, not nothing to sneeze at. Mm. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, I've got Bella on uh, D-Manos, it's called. It's actually, it's just the sugar, but it's the sugar whose molecule is of such a shape and size that we don't actually digest it, so it's not being treated as a sugar. But the sort of bacteria that can cause these infections do love the stuff, and they just sort of stick to it. It's sticky. It's a sticky molecule as well. And these things just, you know, zoom onto it and say, take me, and with, you know, a bit of good, good fortune, your dog pees it out and, and gets rid of a lot of it that way. So it helps with the symptoms right away, and that's always good. And then cranberry, of course, because it changes the pH and makes it an unhappy place for the bacteria. If that's the problem, so like I said, she's still going to have to see a vet. I will still have to get her tested. If the symptoms seem to go down, if the bleeding lessens, if her discomfort lessens, then we'll at least know we're probably on the right track, and, and that'll be good. That will make me very happy. But I'm still going to have to have her tested. So we still have a vet appointment coming up. Happy holiday. 
my poor baby. She's kind of sad. And she's not feeling well. So she, you know, she always, she wants to cuddle. And she wants to sleep all curled up beside me. Mommy has to take care of her. <laughs> my poor baby. My little dog. Anyway, so today was just about making some cash. I'm going to get this done, and then I'm going to go down and put another level on those stations. We will start work. we got to finish the main house garden, and the main house, for that matter. Jeez, we don't, these, my, the people who live on my farm are still sleeping under trees or something, because I've never given them a proper home. Everybody, the staff has a nice place, and the, the, t the day staff who come in have a great place to have lunch and shower up after work and do all the things. <coughs> but my main family, it's like, yeah, you know what, go sleep by the canal, folks, you're fine. It's all good. Not a problem. <coughs> do, 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 do. I do like that little castle and garden, it's pretty. So, oh, my character, look at this. I'm level 242. I will actually get to 250 someday. Ooh, that's kind of exciting. Anyway, guys, take care. I hope you are having a good day and rested up. Or if you're working, you know, looking forward to the weekend. If, uh, you know, you're planning something for New Year's. I'm still thinking about, you know, things to celebrate in the coming year. I'm going to find, I want to find some fun things that sort of define who I am. Heck with official holidays. I'm making my own, guys. It's like personal questing in a game. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The game gives you quests. Or you can decide you want to do something on of your own and go out and work toward that. And I think this year is going to be my personal quest year. Take care, guys. Thank you for your comments and your thumbs up and your, your kindness and support. I love you to death. And I'm hoping to get back to, you know, regular recording here pretty soon. i still got a few really, really busy weeks ahead with, you know, company and the things. Just a lot of things going on. But... Life will get back to normal again. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.